What it do, what it do, what it do, YouTube. Thank you for coming into my live and watching me. I haven't been on for a couple of days. Did you miss me? I guess I'm waiting too long to response, but I missed you. <laughs> I just came back from the um the salon store, this uh, this um salon store that they have out here. And I bought some things for my kids here. Mom of 12. Hey, mom, how are you doing? How's the holidays going in your home? Yeah. So I came back from the hair store. I went to the hair salon and I went and bought some things for my kids' hair. I've, tr I've already bought something. I've already been trying some products in their hair. And I wanted to know from other mothers out here what it is that they use for their kids. My kids are biracial. And some of their hair, each one of them have their own texture of hair. Some of them are thicker than others, some more curlier than others. The street style check last night, though. That's street style. Hey, Brianna. The street style check last night, though. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? The drama that's out here. <laughs> the drama's out, out here on these streets. I'm telling you, <laughs> this whole group is straight hood up in these YouTube streets. Straight hood. <laughs> Cutthroat. <laughs> but I wanted to know if any of you mommies, I'm glad you're here, Mama 12. Have you guys used this gel for your guys' daughters or have for your hair or your children's hair? Uh, and what do you think of it? Wow. It's supposed to be alcohol free. You know, my kids are mixed. And I got some that has that really fine curls. And I got some that have the more. My other kids, some of them have the thick, curly, curly hair. I mean, they have their own texture hair, each and every one of them, I swear. And, you know, my hair is not straight. My hair is curly. My father is um has curly hair. But I went and bought that. My daughter uses that every day. And how do you like it? Does it does it break her hair off, Mama 12? Does it break her hair? I also bought this just for me hair, hair milk, soothing scalp balm, soothes dry scalp for all hair textures. I also bought this for my daughter. And I've used this product before for my kids. Recommend Echo It Flakes. I used to use it on my hair, Stephanie. Be careful if you do use it. They love it. Okay. Thank you, Brianna. And I say that too because it says right here in the bottle, for all hair types, shine, smooth, conditions, no flakes, no tacks, anti-itch, UV protection. You know what? Honestly, I have really, really damaged my kids' hair. Like, I really, really have. And I feel like such a horrible mom for that. You know, you leave, use a leave them if you do use it. Okay, I do, I do. And I used to use Cantu, but I don't like Cantu. Cantu, just because the way it, it, it does, like, it looks like white, like they have dandruff. And, you know, it's just a little bit too much. But I bought, this is another one that I have already been using for my kids. Let me pull it out here. I went to the hair store, store, and you know I have so many girls, so I'm constantly buying things. I bought these little little barrettes for my little one. I know they look like little cheap barrettes, but still. <laughs> so I have this is something new that I got by just for me. It's Curl Peace Natural Care for Kids Smooth Ponytail and Edge Control Finish and Hold. Contains no, and it goes on with mineral oils, petroleum, animal testing. Um, this is what it looks like. If you can see that. 
Hold on one second. My girls are here. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if America and them are outside. You guys all have shoes on? Yeah, I'm about to get one. Okay, but I'm, I'm, they should be out there. If not, let me know. If America is outside, ask her if um, if I buy the box of tilapia, if she can make the ceviche. Okay. Okay. So these are my kids, and they're going to go outside for some play time. I went to Ross. I mean, not Ross, but I went to another store. See what she wants. So this is what's called Just For Me Pearl Piece. Have you guys tried any of this? They never complained. They have a fit if they run out. So I have to buy the five pound container for each. <laughs> I get you on that one. Mama 12. I get you on that one. So what, what, how much is, how much is it, this little thing? Maxwell. Oh, this is five pounds. This one's five pounds. And I and I and I should be grabbing more, but I was such in a hurry. You know, my, my I was riding with my cousin and you know everybody works and everybody's on a schedule. So it's like I just ran in and ran out. I went to some Mexican store out here called El Super. Actually, I still have the stuff over here, but my son is earning extra money, so he's gonna clean out the refrigerator while I go like, before we put food away. They never pick okay. That's the size I get them. So I also get this, and I've been using the pink one. There's actually a different color. It's pink. I don't know if it's the difference, but it's definitely by Aunt Jackie's Girls, Fabulous Curls and Corals. Soft and sassy, super duper softening conditioner. Now this, you guys, I've been using this product for a while since I've seen it on the shelves at the salon. And I tell you, I love this for my kids' hair, especially for my one-year-old, my three-year-old, and my nine-year-old. This right here, it works real well in their hair. Also, my 11-year-old, um, it works really well in their hair. I don't, I don't really like the smell of this one. I mean, it does smell okay. It smells sweet, but it has that weird, like, Second guessing smell, but the the pink one that's like this, it smells so good. I mean, it's like it's just walking around just like a whole little candy factory. <laughs> I would recommend anything on Jackie. Also, you tried this before, Brianna. Bye, Mom of Twelve. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that. Much love, Mom. Do these calls. <laughs> Okay, so you've been using them, and how, and how do you like it? I didn't even know they had one for adults. You know what? I've been bleaching my hair and dyeing my hair for so long, you guys, that my hair, and then having babies, you know, and I'm already really anemic, and I have um, a disease called lipedema, you know, where you get fat, fatty tissue. So my immune system's all shot out. And my hair definitely is falling out. But I noticed that I, when I did stop dyeing my hair it, it for so long that my actual hair was actually growing in healthy. It really was. And then when I had my son, I had dyed it before I went into labor because, you know, I didn't want to look all, I wanted to look cute when I went into labor. <laughs> I had my makeup on and everything. <laughs> um, it's, let's see, it's the same color as that one. Oh, okay. Well, I'll definitely look into it. But my hair, you know, I, I did it again, redid my hair, and it's been falling out and giving me problems. Um, I've been actually online looking for, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get. My bird is in the background, if you guys hear. I'm sorry. Um, but I've been looking online for, like, a wig. I know people are like, what are you going to do with a wig? But let me tell you, they have some really nice, like, visible, a see-through lace front. Wigs. I know they have one that's a um, the hairstyle Khloe Kardashian um, used to wear. You know, half down and half up, and like this cute little bun thing. And it's, I, I know they. I'm not sure if it's in England that they're selling it. Somewhere in the UK, but it's like seven hundred dollars for this wig. Although they do take payment plans. Um, so I'm thinking about just doing something like that for my hair and just letting, letting cutting out all the color and just letting my natural hair grow. But I need to find something. Oh, 
I think what developer are you using to bleach your hair? I'm not quite sure what it is. I'll I'll go in there. I have to go check and see what it is. I don't really do my hair. I buy the products. I give the money for the products. They buy it and then they do like my hair for me. But I don't like that. Well, it's supposed to be better product because the new bleach it's not supposed to be like it's a new modern type of bleach that's not supposed to make your hair fall out. And I got this little lip gloss. So I'm gonna try it right here. Look at me. I'm already overloading it all over my freaking lips. So you guys, I want to share that with you. If you're using 20 volume or higher, it's damaging to your hair. You would think the person that does my hair would know this. The person who does my hair, I had him do my daughter's hair and my, my oldest daughter. And let me tell you, she did half of it black and the other half um, like a really colored pretty blue. And my poor baby's hair is just falling out. And she had a permanent oh as well. And her hair is just falling out. So my sister-in-law was over here from Arizona. Hannibal, are you going to argue with me today? Or are you going to let me talk? Let me talk. I haven't even been talking that much. I have my parrot back there. That's just over talking. And I also got this one too for like the little edges. I've used that before. I use Tan Volume Developer Pearl Color. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely looking to it. I met some lady yesterday when I went to um some when I went to to the store. I went Christmas shopping yesterday and bought some things. Um, and the lady there, she was she was Mexican, but she did her hair was really nice and she was very knowledgeable. And she was telling me that you know with my daughters their type of hair that they notice that when they use um certain um colors in their hair like the certain products that it breaks their hair and i wish i would have known this before i that i allow somebody to put it in my daughter's hair because now my poor baby's hair is just falling out and she's like oh my god mom she's like i want a wig and i'm just like you know maybe i could get her a wig and then just have my sister-in-law or one of the cousins sew it in Oh, that's good, uh, Brianna. I wish I could uh, do my own hair. Uh, I mean, beauty, you know, nowadays is always it's always a trade. You can always there's always women looking to you know do their hair, do their nails, do their eyebrows. You know, it's a good trade. A lot of people don't realize beauty is a good trade to have, especially when you're doing it cheaper than most. You know. Okay, now that I shared that, I'm gonna run my mouth a little bit and go off. <laughs> Let's go on ahead. Um, can you give? Oh, here it is. So there is a lady who subscribed to me. Thank you, by the way. Her name is. I gotta go back over here and look um, for her name. Let me see the phone. Well, there's another um, subscriber. You were actually on the live with her yesterday, Brianna. I can't think of her name right now. Um, her name is Bonnie Bonnie. I, b I believe it is Bonnie Bonnie. Correct me if I'm wrong. She's pregnant. She's so cute. She has this. She has two dimples on her. She has a dimple. She has dimples. I think her. She is so cute. I love people with dimples. I have dimples too, but you know, I've gained so much weight. You can't even see my dimples. I have to like do all kinds of things to bring my dimples out. <laughs> but anyways. I believe her name is Bonnie Bonnie. Um, because I made a comment about you. Her name is so cute, Bonnie Bonnie. It just went hand in hand. But I wanted to talk about it because she was talking about some things yesterday. And I was like, you know what? I've been saying this for so long. Can you give um Hannibal something? Because he's gonna argue with me right now. You hear my bird? You hear my bird? My bird don't want me to talk to you guys. Damn bird. Give me a second, you guys. I'm going to see. You got to give him something. Like, I don't know what. Give him something. Okay. 
my bird is gonna over talk me and I don't like when he's when he does that because then I feel like I can't even hear myself and I need to hear myself. Okay, hi mom of 12. Did you see Miss Lena channel yet? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> mom of 12, I think she already hopped off. She had to go do some things. Um, uh, Miss K, but I definitely saw her channel. And that's why I was and I was in her comments like girl I'm glad you're back in action to see what Blama is all gonna be all about now And as you see I haven't seen her videos today Which I'm sure she posted them up up there because this girl is so addicted to the damn computer. She stays sleeping on her computer Oh, uh, let me see. I'm shaking my head. I'm not Miss Lynn Six minutes ago, huh? Oh look at I have it up right here let me see what this freaking camel toe looking girl is talking about. But let me, before we go on there, there is this girl named Bonnie Bonnie. And she was, she did a live yesterday with a lot of people on her live. And she was just talking about pre, pretty much, pretty much what I've been saying on my lives and on my, on my channel, period. About how Blama, you know, I really think this girl is weird as fuck, like in every type of way. Like, I believe that this girl has no social life. Like, she never had a friend. Like, her family don't even fuck with her like that. And, like, I really, really believe that. Not to be talking shit, but just analyzing her and the kind of person she is and how she stays on YouTube and how she re how she responds. That's why she's like, say my name, say my name. Now, I'm not trying to sing because I know I can't sing. But, like, you, you know, that really, really, really makes her feel important. It makes her really feel relevant to herself. Hey, Regina, how are you doing? Thank you for coming on. But it makes her really feel relevant to herself because she's never had a friend before. Like this girl's psychotic in so many different ways. And I thought I was the only one seeing this for so long. So when Bonnie Bonnie came out and was like, you know, I was like, you know, the only thing this bitch is good at is starting shit. She never had any friends before in her life. You know, like, seriously, like, her family don't even fuck with her like that. You know, she talks so much shit, but look at your house. Like, where did you go and get all that? Allie dies in, you know, I'm not trying to knock those that Allie dies, but for real, like, how are you going to shove everything in one fucking section of your house and all your videos are made right there and you think you big bossing? Like, girl, who, who would even purchase that shit? Like, the Ross, ZD store, all these little, you know, um, handy down, what are they, what kind of stores are those? Those little cheap stores you know the Ross I like them but they sell really good you know things in there really you know household things in there for really cheap prices it don't make no sense even if you are on welfare it don't make no sense for you to invest in your home you know your home this is your foundation where you lay your head where you have your family throwing us um so she talked you know she's just she's just so fake in front anybody could be anybody behind the screen you know people could get fucking balls when they're behind the screen that's what they do uh, and, and it's easier for them to express themselves like that. There was a study done on it, you know, and Blama Eats is like one of the people that, you know, she, it just it just represents Blama Eats in every way. The bitch is really, she ain't about shit. She's nothing. When she gets behind the screen, all of a sudden she can put her, you know, game face on and become a whole different person, you know, because she was, she was irrelevant to everybody in, in, in the flesh, in her life, you know. She's never had any friends. She's never been popular. And so when Vani Bani was pretty much saying all these um, yesterday on her live, and I didn't, I wasn't on her live, but I was able to catch it afterwards. And I was like, girl, I've been trying to say this. I've been speaking on this and speaking and saying the exact same shit for so long. So I'm glad somebody else said it because no, nobody was trying to hear me. <laughs> nobody give a fuck about what the Mexican girl was saying over here, <laughs> not to be colorist or anything. So I was glad that she said it because, you know, she has so many people on her live and so many people that, you know, are doing really good on their channels. And I was like, well, I'm so glad somebody piggybacked on what I said. Not that she, you know, copied what I said, but I'm just so glad somebody said it because I've been saying it. Nobody gave a fuck about what the Mexican girl was saying. This girl is really something now. She's weird as fuck. And I mean, I don't understand how you have a whole man. Regina, we're talking about Blama. I don't understand. Oh, we're talking about Blama. And there's another YouTuber on here that just subscribed to me. Her name is Bonnie Bonnie. And she's she's preg, she's a cute prego. She has the prettiest little dimples. Um, but you know, when on her live, she was just pretty much speaking about the same shit I've been saying for so long. I mean, I know so many people have so many negative things to say about blah because she's such a negative person. You know, when you bring negativity out, 
you know, that just, you know, you, 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 you're going to get, you're going to get what you give. And that's just how that is, period. But I was just saying how weird, as weird as fuck she is, because you could tell that she doesn't have any friends. You could tell that she doesn't have family. You could tell that nobody fucks with her and nobody's ever fucked with her. And you could tell she's never had shit. I mean, and that's why, you know, YouTube right now is all she's ever had. Like, she really feels she's irrelevant. Like, she really feels like she has a reason to live right now. She, I don't know. I don't know her. Uh, well, if you could go on to her YouTube channel, her name is Blah Moms Eat. I mean, what kind of name is Blah Ma Eat? I don't know. That tells you right there. The girl needs some medication. She's probably suffering from depression. I don't know what she's suffering from. Schizophrenic, bipolar, who knows? Bipolar, schizophrenic, I think that's the right term for it. Um, who knows? So I was, I was, you know, glad to finally see somebody else, um, saying the same shit that I was saying, because, you know, nobody wants to listen to me. I'm just, you know, the, the Mexican girl from California, <laughs> close to the border. They're like, bitch, be quiet and build a wall. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. So when she said that, I was like, I'm somebody said it, you know, the only thing by my, um, is good at is fucking editing and this girl said the same shit and I was just like you know I'm so glad somebody said it and some they fucking listening to her because nobody was fucking listening to me but that's not the point you know blind mind need her ass beat period and I don't know why she hasn't got her ass beat I mean you hear so many people out there in this world gamers especially gamers you know when they're playing the when they're playing their video games and they got their headset on it be it could be kids you know the other girl Oh, Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. She's another YouTuber. She's, she's pregnant. She's going to be having a baby. That's all I know. She has the cutest dimples. She just subscribed to me. And so I've been watching her lives and her videos. She's really funny. So go ahead and subscribe to her. Her name is Bonnie, Bonnie. Um, she's, she's, she's very funny. And I think she's real 100%. But I was glad that she was saying the exact same words that I was saying. I was like, oh, my gosh. She's, like, repeating everything that I've been saying. But nobody wanted to listen to the Mexican girl. <laughs> like, this girl is weird as fuck. You guys better be careful for her. You guys are supporting somebody that's a little, you know, a little loose in the head. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go ahead and play her video because I've been out shopping all day today. I've been busy the last couple of days. I had to go buy some food today, some food for the house. I'm going to make some cucumber juice. Do you guys make homemade juices at your house for your kids or for yeah. yourself? You know, all natural, like cucumber juice. Well, it's not all natural because I use sugar in there. I use the, um, the cane sugar. But, I, you know, if you have a juicer and when you see the cucumbers on sale, I usually get like right now the cucumbers are like four for a buck. And I went out and bought like a bunch of them. And, you know, my kids like to eat them as snacks and you know, before meals, if they're hungry, I cut up some cucumbers and they could eat them. And then I like to put them in a juicer. I know I'm all over the place right now, but the cucumbers are on sale. And if you don't know about a juicer, you guys should invest in one. You can make your natural juices. That's what I do for my kids. And it actually saves me money like that. And it's more healthier. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a reaction on Blama Eat. I don't know when. She's going to change that fucking picture of her with her white tongue sticking all out. I'm like, girl, look it up. How do you get a white tongue? Look it up. You'll see a whole list of STDs coming down. And then it'll say drug and then medication. So I've been knowing that the bitch is popping pills. Oh, maybe I can turn it up. I do not have nine children. I do not have sheets up to my window. Okay? You're looking for Miss Lena. I know she used my picture all over her channel. Mm. Let me play it again. Shaking my head, I'm not Miss Lena. See, I thought that was how you pronounced your name. Why am I eat when I'm back? Um, public service announcement. All of y'all coming over do from the live right now. My name is not Miss Lena. I do not have nine children and I do not have sheets up to my window. Okay? 
you're looking for Miss Lena. I know she used my picture all over her channel. So y'all, when y'all see my picture, you're like, oh, that's her. But no, I'm not Miss Lena. I don't have nine children by multiple different men. Um, go to the little, you know, the magnifying glass and type in Miss Lena or mom of nine and it'll pop up. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay, so I think she's trying to clown Miss Lena. So I must be missing some shit. You guys fill me in. What's been going on out here? <laughs> she said from Thomas, Thomas's live. I mean, um, Tommy's live. What's been going on? See, I've been gone in action for two days. One day, only one day, some shit is going down. Like this gracious, you guys. We gotta stay. We gotta keep a seat right here in front of the screen. So much drama going on between these ladies. My whole thing about it is if you could talk all that shit, all that shit, okay, you should be able to, you know, face somebody at one point. All that shit that you're talking about them, you know, at one point you should be like, okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and meet. Let's go ahead and meet. I've made, I put it out there already that I'm willing to pay for them to meet each other out here in California. They'll be in Los Angeles. We'll do the ring right in Hollywood. And, you know, you don't have to go. And it's not going to be no back and forth arguing. Da, 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 da. We're going to keep it professional. We're going to keep it business. And you guys can hit it off from the ring. And 500, 500 take, you know, I'm, I'm offering $500 to the winner. Plus, you guys will be out here, you know, in California. I'll pay for your guys. I'll pay for you guys to hit one of the one of the good clubs out here. You know, that's the thing. I don't want Blama just because I do reactions on her. I talk so bad about her. Honestly, I'm a businesswoman when it comes down to it, and I'm not gonna sit here and bring you over here and try to fight you and down talk you. You know, just because I do reactions on you. Um, I mean, if you step out of line, I will. But if not, I'm gonna keep it what you're here for. So I don't want her to feel like I would team up on her with whoever's here. I'm trying to get her and Jazzy out here to see what it do. Blah my East has not responded to me at all. At all. I keep coming at her with it. I mean, she talk a whole lot of shit, but she's like the only one that's not hasn't responded to me about coming and um boxing on um, with Jazzy. Like, I don't understand why. You talk so much shit, like back up what you say at least. You know, she's so many bitches and she's so many this. And then when somebody's, you know, fronting you off on YouTube, all of a sudden you didn't mean calling them bitches that way. You were just saying the word bitch as, you know, just like bitch or like, you know, like just using it as a form as a, as a, as, as a, just, just speaking, you know, like not calling them a bitch, bitch, but just, you know, using the word bitch. Like that's a lot of money. It's only $500. Man, let me tell you, <laughs> I could go to the store and spend that just like that. $500, I don't know, maybe because I have a big family, so, you know, I spend money like that. I mean, it's just like, oh, my gosh, you guys, you guys just don't know. My kids hate going shopping with me because I don't know how to get out the store. I hate going shopping because it's like when I go in there, I just end up shopping whatever I want, you know. But five hundred dollars is a lot. Round trip tickets. It is the tickets are going to be expensive right now just because it's the holidays. But I will be able to get just good discount tickets on there just because I know someone in the family that 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 works um, for the airline. So we will be getting um, really good discount tickets, um, and then I'll be getting points on those on those um, miles as well. So that'll be good for me. Uh, and I'm able, you know, you guys to do Postmates off my account. I mean, it, I think it's, it, I think it's something good, and it, it, you know, I believe that's an opportunity for them to let their channel grow. Not as well, it'll grow my channel as well as their channel, as well as um Jazzy's channel. You know, I can only imagine how many people are gonna want to watch something like that. I mean, five hundred. I don't think five hundred is enough to get Blama to come down here because I'm sure she's gonna get her ass beat. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to bet on it. You know, you guys can do that too. Oh. Miss K, I'm sub to Alina. I'm subscribed to Alina. Oh. Yeah, but um, I, I'm trying to get something going like that. 
and hopefully, you know, it'll, 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 it'll grow from that. You know, it'll just start off like that with him. And somebody asked me like, why don't you fight her since you're the one that has all these problems? It's not that I personally have a problem with her because I don't know her, but I don't, I don't like, I don't like how she does reactions on, on other women and their families. So it's like, you know, if she could do it, I could do it. And I'm not going to stop until she stops, you know, I don't know her personally. But like I said, I'm, I'm a businesswoman at the same time. You know, this is an opportunity for all our channels to um, to grow. And it's an opportunity for them to get their whole little frustrations out at each other. Jazzy want to beat her ass. So, okay, you know, Blama has so many has so much animosity towards her. Okay, well, come on, you guys. Keep the business at the same time and get paid for it. And, you know, I don't know. That's just why I'm going with that. So... What happened, Mom of 12? What's been going on? I see, what's her name? Um, Blama did a shaking my head. I'm not Miss Lynn. And in the beginning, I heard something about off of Tommy's live. Is that what she was saying? Let me play it again. Who's live? Who was on live talking about her? Give me a second. How do you do this? Play. Press play. Oh, I'm press. There's a pot. Let me see. I'm having a little technical difficulties here. Apology to Tasha. Calling you out your name. Here. Oh, blah, I want to apologize to Tasha now, huh? When the hell did she apologize to Tasha? I like Tasha. She really don't be want to be all up in that bit in that mix like that. I mean, she said her piece and she left it alone. No, let's go back to one. It says Tommy. Let me see. Shaking, shaking my head. See, I know I heard something about Tommy. Tommy is doing a live stream, right? Now, dissing you, Chrissy, Nikki, damn, you really have nine kids. Tommy is going in on y'all hard. I know I heard what I heard, and I bet you anything that Blamaise is the one that fucking sit, sat there and emailed him with this bullshit. Um, on the on what is it called? The Cloud Chasers. Did you guys watch the Cloud? I'm sure you guys watched the Cloud Chasers a couple of videos ago. I was reading the comments, I was reading the comments, and in the comments. Blama was like, oh, somebody needs to email Tommy Soda. What is his name? Soda Meyer? Meyer? Soda Meyer? So somebody needs to email Tommy. I'm like, what the fuck? They, they got to email him because she's trying to, what, what, what it is, is that she's trying to front him off to him because he, he likes to talk about black women, you know, which is, I think he's a bitch just for that period. I mean, first of all, what the fuck? You got so many hard feelings about your own race for and the and the women. So what? Some women do need to upgrade and get their shit together, but you only do it towards black women. I think that's bullshit. I mean, I'm not even a black woman. And I fucking feel all offended. You know, what if somebody did to my fucking kids? My kids look full black. If you ask me, you can barely tell that they're um, biracial. That's sad as fuck. You know what? This this Tommy guy better be careful because somebody's going to end up murking his ass. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know. And by my ease, I feel bad for her too because somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna notice her in public one day, and somebody's gonna get her in, get it in with her. I mean, it'd be the fans that'd be the first ones to take you out. Okay, it'd be the fans that go hard for their for for their um subscribers or for whoever it is, you know. If it'd be the fans, the first ones that'll jump for whoever it is that they represent. It. And it, they don't have to see you in, in person. It could be somebody else. You know, Michael Jackson used to always say, you know, he always loved his fans, but he was always scared of his fans as well. Why? Because those will be the first ones, no matter how much they love you, they'll be the first ones to kill you. Okay.
So these people, they're nothing like fucking Michael. They ain't no fucking celebrity. They could think they're blah, 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 because everybody's talking about them. Y'all don't like his channel. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, I, you know, I don't like his channel. I don't like the way, just because he has some type of feelings towards the way his mother raised them and being a single mother. Like, why you got to come for all these other um, black women out here? Like, come on now. It's case by case. Not everybody was raised the same way. You don't know what the fuck that lady, what, what that lady got going on in her life that things are happening to her. Her life is the way that it is. I mean, you can't judge. Who are you to judge? All you do is sit back. And you pick at women, but you're a whole fucking man. Why well, you sitting there petting your fucking pussy cat? I mean, you know, I don't know, you guys. See if that was um Michael that called. I don't even know what I do with the phone, but I hear it. So he should be coming off of work soon. I don't like his channel. And if you ask me, I believe Blama East and her little fucking paparazzi little fucking hate group started some is the one that fucking emailed Tommy so he could come for them. So she could sit back here. <laughs> she thinks she really controlling somebody. She thinks that all, everybody out here is like her fucking little puppet. I'm telling you right now. Oh my God. If I was to see the girl today and I don't even know her personally, I myself would have something to say to her in her fucking face just to see if she really about that life. Cause she does a whole lot of this. The only thing I can say to her is, bitch, the only thing you're good at is fucking editing. You push out seven, eight videos a fucking day. Every day almost. But you got a whole job. You take care of your kids. Bitch, do you got time to fucking wash your kids' ass? Do you got time to... Uh, hold on, you guys. Huh? Oh, Cece. Stephanie, I think you forgot your cell at my shop. Can you text me? Oh, yes. There goes where my cell phone is, where Michaela's cell phone is. I kept. <laughs> Ooh, I left my daughter's brand new um, Samsung. Or what are they called? Samsung? Tim? Yes, yes, thank you. I left my daughter a new Samsung at the nail shop about a whole week and a half ago <laughs> and i've been i've been saying it's in my house somewhere it's in my house somewhere <laughs> and no she she has it now, hold on let me tell her here can you message this Oh, she's been calling me. Tell her I'm recording. Call you, call you after, and then just put say thank you. Okay. She said she's been calling me, but I don't answer. I don't know if you'll be calling me. You know, my kids are my little ones be having my phone, but um, but yeah. So sorry about that, you guys. Let me get back on track. Regina, you know, I don't like his channel. Tommy's a straight bitch just because he feels some type of way from the way that his mama raised him. He want to take it out on every other African American woman out there. And I just think that's just hate. That's just hate. That's just hateful. You know, go see Dr. Phil. Learn to love yourself. You know, like he has so many issues he needs to work on. There's this lady called Stephanie Cunning Cunningham. Stephanie, Stephanie Cunningham, I, I believe it's Stephanie, Stephanie Cunningham. I'm going to look it up and it's called a woman's journal. Okay. And that helps it dissects a woman with her emotions and what it brings her, you know, for women that went through, you know, being with parents that were on addiction, women that have been molested um, or raped or mistreated or abused or, you know, um, or somewhere we have some type of um, issues going, you know, psych um, issues going, not psych, but emotional issues going. It helps them kind of cleanse themselves from inside out, you know, it helps them kind of cleanse themselves. And in, in it, the journal, though, it's called Women's Journal, and it has really helped out a lot of women. Now, I know that she was doing one for men, 
um, and I and I believe it would be a, man, a man's journal. I don't know if she did it. I don't know, but I'm sure it is because this was a couple of years ago. See, Tommy would be somebody fit to do one of her classes with her, you know, because he got too much shit going on up in here that he just, you know, it really fucked him up. And the way that he looks at African Americans, the way that he talks to white people, and the way that he talks to his own race. I mean, there's two different, I mean, you don't even know it's the same Tommy. And I think that's sad. I think it's sad. So that, that man just has a lot of issues he needs to work on and he takes it out on every other black woman. It's like, come on, Tommy, I don't understand. Just, you know, I'm glad that you edu educated yourself. I'm glad that you don't, um, I, I don't think that Tommy sees himself like, uh, 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 I don't, I think he's, think, I don't, I believe that he don't see himself as an African-American male, even though he knows he is and he says he is, I think that he thinks he's better. That's just my personal opinion about it. I don't know. And this bitch blah my east. I'm telling you right now, she started this shit. When I heard her say on on the on the clout on the clout chasers, report her to Tommy. Somebody should be emailing Tommy and send him this video. I'm like, bitch, you know, like, you know, she this bitch is like a fucking black widow. You better watch her. You gotta watch her. Cause she's trying to hit, she's trying to throw punches. You know, by using other people to throw punches because she don't know how to fight her own fucking battle because she is scary. She is a scary bitch. And yeah, I said it here. She's a fucking scary bitch. If you ain't that fucking scary bitch, then where you live? Where, where, where you? Where you don't have to tell us where you live. What state are you from? Let's see if we know somebody out there that's gonna come and dust you off real quick, okay? If you're not fucking scared. If you ain't fucking scared. You guys, she she has kids. Somebody like her is going to get hurt in public one day. And I'm just saying, I don't want to wish that upon her. I don't want to wish it upon her kids. I don't think that anybody's kids should have to endure, you know, or see their parents get the ass beat or, you know, be, you know, just the violence that goes along with it. You know, no, no, nobody should have to be um, fronted with that. Who's here? This come to my house. Probably one of the kids. I'm not sure. Oh, hi. Uh, she's on outside, but I didn't want to because she wish I, I don't know. She she went back in her house because Adi is out wet. Oh, what are they doing? Throwing water at each other? No, it's a, so there's a puddle outside, and Adi and them are just jumping in there. And Adi wasn't supposed to be wet. Who else jumped in the in the puddle besides Adi? Oh, um, Adia and Junior, but Junior didn't get as well as Talia did. Talia got Adia wet. So where's Talia? Outside, sitting down. Isn't it too cold? It's kind of windy. Yeah, I know. And then put some different clothes on. Her. Yeah, get her jacket first of all. Grab her jacket. Is she is she trying to come back in or she's just playing? Sorry, you guys. No, she's playing with one. Why is she argue? Why is she? Like, she's too big to argue with um, Talia. No, she's just laughing. Though. Oh. Is Mr. Shell outside? So this America? Did you ask her about the the food, the ceviche? Ask her if she can make me ceviche for this weekend. Okay. Ceviche. Okay. Tell her I'll give her the money. Ask her if she can make some ceviche. Okay. I love the way my friend makes ceviche. Oh my goodness. Okay, but let me, Stephanie. I'm back. I'm still trying to get some dinner. Tell me about it, girl. I'm gonna make some mole. Do you guys know what that is? Mole, chicken mole. It's like a Mexican dish, just a special sauce. It's like spicy. And, I like the spicy and sweet one mixed. But I'll show you a picture of it. That's what I'm going to make tonight. It's mole. Mole rice and beans. I made a video for you guys when I made um, Fado. But let me get off track. I'm getting all, let me, I'm going to do a whole lot of talking outside what I'm talking about already. <laughs> but yeah, so I believe that Blama East um, set some shit up like that. I believe that she's like the whole little, got this shit going. Why? Because she's, that's how she is. Okay, she likes to get everybody fucking involved. I mean, come on now. Like Majestic Love. Majestic Love. Majestic Love. Why Why was she, in her video, she said that when she was talking to Majestic Love, her husband passed by and told her, oh, I hope you're talking, you're being positive. If I'm not, if, if I'm not mistaken, that's what I heard her say. What was you fucking doing talking to this girl on FaceTime? You don't even fucking know her. You know why? Because Blama 
thinks that everybody on YouTube is her friend or they want to be her friend. You know, Blama is like she don't have any such of friends, dude. Like this girl is so lonely. She's so lonely. She talks so much shit about Jazzy. But if it wasn't for Jazzy, bitch, she, Blama wouldn't even have the subscribers that she had. She was irrelevant. She was a nobody. She was just that. Blech. That's exactly what she was. And when that whole argument popped off with um, with Jazzy and, you know, I remember we were, I, we got to go back, I got to go back and look on the videos. But I remember when I was like, you know, Jazzy, yeah, you you heard this girl, blah, blah. And she was like, no, I, I've heard somebody mention her name before. This is before she didn't even really know nothing about blah, blah. And I saw it and I, and I introduced her, not introduced her, but I brought it up in her fucking live and we were just going back and forth about it. And then that's when everybody was starting and looking at fucking Blama. And next thing I know, like within hours, she had all these fucking subscribers and it was just going back and forth, back and forth. And ever since then, she was just like, oh, she just thought she was this little popular person or something. You know, she's fucking sick in the head. She has a little girl's fucking mind. She just sit here and she talk all this shit. Like she watches other fucking YouTubers and the bitch just thinks she could talk like, like she tries to be them. She don't even know how to be herself. I bet when you meet her in fucking public, the bitch is just stuttering and shit. She don't even know. She don't even know how to act. You know, she, she because she don't. She don't know how to act. Period. Like she, that's not who she really is. I don't know, Blamae. You know, your time is clicking. That's all I gotta say. I feel bad for you and your kids because someone's gonna beat the dog shit out of your ass. They're gonna run you straight to that fucking um, grass. And I mean, it's just it's gonna be sad. It's gonna be sad. And I know. I know. I feel it in my heart. I feel it. And, you know, I'm pretty, you know, usually when I fucking sense things, I'm usually right about that. I bet you Blama East and her little motherfucking crew started emailing and sending videos and whoop whoop to um, Tommy. And now that's why Tommy's talking shit. Because just a couple of days ago, she was on the Clout Chasers channel talking about, oh, somebody need to email Tommy and send this video. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up, bitch. Fight your own battles. You beefing with them, fight them. Why are you trying to do some other shit? Start some other shit. She going to be responsible for someone's business. Blama. It's going to get. Blama. Somebody's going to dust that bitch off. Excuse my language, but no. Somebody's going to dust this bitch off. It's only a matter of time. You know, she don't want to hit the fucking ring. Bitches like ignore me. She knows she's not about that life. She knows she don't want it. She just sat there and she sat there with her fucking Beetlejuice raccoon fucking face. And that, that, that. All right. I mean, she just sit there and remind me of fucking, um, I got some, you know what? I, I got some, I got some little clips I'm going to put together. I'm going to tell you who this bitch remind me of. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to spend time editing. I'm going to wait till my kids' his father. To, he gets here and he's going to, you know, get the kids for a while, take a shower because he's got off work. And I'm gonna put some shit together, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out here. What are you doing, chasing the cat? Oh, you're trying to care? Spoiled cat, man. My kids like gourmet. We have to make them their fucking food, homemade. They're not even my cats. I'm fostering. But anyway, so you guys, I just, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna pray for this girl because she's really trying to play with fire. She's really trying to make. She's really out here just being messy as hell. How the fuck are you gonna come from? Come for Tasha Marie. Leave that old lady alone. Tasha Marie don't be in nobody's fucking business. Well, she might redo reaction videos on people, but I mean, that's just reaction videos. You know, that's what you do. You react to the videos that you watch. But she don't be out here trying to beef with buddy, you know. And when she does reaction videos, I believe that she, you know, she doesn't really, she's not trying to, you know, drag somebody through the fucking mud. She's actually, you know, giving her opinion. And in the, in the best way that she sees fit. But this bitch right here, man, somebody need to rag, drag her through the fucking mud. Where does she live? I mean, who the fuck is she? Who, I mean, who, where? And I can't believe out of everyone on fucking YouTube that don't nobody know who this bitch, who this broad is. I mean, I've offered money, cash app. What the fuck is her first and last name? Date of birth. You know, what school did she go to? What school did her kids go to? You know, you can either find information from other people. I don't understand how nobody don't know who this broad is besides blind my ease. I mean, I got motherfuckers sitting there trying to mess with my, 
tap it to my computer, my um, IP, find, and, and, and through my IP and, and try to find my information out. I had to have one of the people come out here and recheck my fucking computer. And I don't even have that many fucking subscribers. I've never seen this much mess on YouTube till now. Yeah, well, it ain't going to end until somebody stops her. It's not going to end. I'm telling you guys right now. Oh, my God. I mean, I feel it. Blama East was texting. I'm not texting, but the only shade, at least. She was mad because the bitch came back. She came back out. So she started emailing Tommy trying to get this bitch back. Because when Miss Lynn was in that ass, sticking her foot all, her mother, all the way out of her ass, out of her out of her mouth, the bitch was like a turtle. She went all the way back in, hiding. And now that Miss Lynn came back for that ass and was like, ha, 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 bitch, I'm here. What you going to do? What you going to do? She was like, you know what? Tommy don't like black women. Let me go ahead and show her this girl and da, 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 get it in. So that's, you know, Blah Ma had something to do with that. Yes, she did. I don't care what anybody said. Yes, she did. I feel it. I feel it. I'm going to listen to my instincts. My instincts tell me that this fucking wreck. Ragged ass bitch has something to do with it. She need her ass look, period. She don't know how to fight her own fucking battle. So she's trying to do the same thing with the cloud chasers. You know, she saw the cloud chasers and she was like, you know what? Um, first, I, I honestly, she was talking shit about the cloud chasers, but I think this bitch really just wanted, was trying to be their friends and the cloud chasers wasn't was fucking with her. So she was just like, okay, you know, you can't win them. So, you know, you can't. She's trying to she's trying to join them, but they ain't fuck with her. So now she's going to be like, okay, well, fuck them too. Um, and then, you know, when the cow chasers keeps talking about her dusty ass, then she, in the comment section, that she, um, I was reading the comment section, she was like, oh, yeah, somebody needs to um, send this, report her to Tommy. I mean, is it just me that's just seeing this? Do you guys watch the same fucking videos that I watch? Do, am I the only one that read? I don't always read the comments, but sometimes I do read the comments because the comment section, there'd be some funny shit going on in there. And when I got extra time on my hands, I will read the comments. Okay, calm down. I don't got no life. Whatever. Say what you want. So at least I got a job. So I take care of my house. <laughs> I cook for my kids' meals. <laughs> oh, hey, Bonnie, Bonnie. I was just talking about you in the beginning of the video. I was telling them to go subscribe to you if they haven't, but you got a lot of subscribers anyway, so who am I to tell <laughs> anybody to go subscribe to you? <laughs> but I was telling them how you're in your live yesterday, when I watched your live, you were just on point with everything that I've been saying. I mean, down to the T, you were on point. And I was like, you know what? I've been saying this in almost all my videos that this is one weird ass bitch. <laughs> yeah, I've been saying, and your cute dimples. I was telling them how cute you are, pregnant with, with dimples. You are so pretty. I wonder if you, did you have put rings? Did you pierce your cheeks or are those your natural di dimples? You know how people put the little diamonds right here? I think it's so cute. I knew you had piercings. I knew you did. <laughs> but it's cute because I was like, dang, maybe I should get my piercings too. Because I have like natural dimples. But you know, my face gained a lot of weight. <laughs> so you can't really see them. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I, I really want my dimples to show a little bit more. Maybe they will when I lose a little bit of weight. Um, I have surgery coming up, but I have I have a couple surgeries coming up, you know, which is a whole nother channel. But anyways, we're talking about blah, blah, not me. Um, but I, I, I love the, I love the dimples. They're really cute. I'm probably gonna have to copy you and get the piercings. I've been thinking about it for a while. I have to keep them in long either. Yeah. Well, you look real cute. I say you probably got the man like, Oh, they are cute little dimples. They you know, they're going to want to see your second dimples. No, <laughs> but anyways, let me get back to what I was saying about Blama. I was just saying on your video, how, you know, you were pretty much saying everything that I've been saying in all my videos. But see, nobody want to listen to the Mexican girl because she's just a Mexican girl. <laughs> not to be colorist or nothing, but it's a joke. Nobody want to listen to me. But they were sitting here listening all to you. And you had all kinds of good subscribers up on your channel. I was like, mm, I'm feeling some type of way. No. <laughs> but I'm glad you said it because they listen to you. And they, they don't have to listen to me, you know. <laughs> well, thank you. I was like, they don't want to listen to the Mexican girl over here. They say, it's, all, it's okay, though. I'll ramble on. Maybe I'm just rambling too goddamn much, but someone's gonna beat this girl's ass. 
And what's sad, I've been saying what's sad is that she got kids or, you know, her husband's or her, her supposedly husband. I don't know if some of them fucking gave her a blow up doll. She put some fucking clothes on it, strapped them fucking pot, do the dildo to it and called it her man. Her husband, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on in there, but I don't know any man in the right fucking mind that would be with a female like this. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Misery loves company, you know, so, you know, you know, it depends. It's just, Situation case by case. Yes, girl, blow up doll. You know they got these fucking mannequin fucking dolls walking around here. I don't know. It's probably like six thousand dollars. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm thinking too big now because I know the bitch can't afford that. She can't afford a toothbrush to scrub her damn tongue to get it some goddamn color going. Or talked about her and she made three videos on me. Yes, I know. I don't, what's the big issue, you guys? I mean, what is it out here? What, what, I don't understand. What's the big issue about having so many kids? A big family is a blessed family. When did that change? Maybe because I'm the Mexican girl and, you know, it's Mexicans. We have big families. You know, it, a, a, a big family is a blessed family. You know, there's some people that can't even fucking have kids. As long as you love your kids, you don't got to be rich. You don't got to have, you know, the, a smart house and your kids have all the electronics and your kids is flashy, flashy, and they have a Gucci wear. And, you know, let me see. I listen to you and Mama Trump sent me here because I said someone needs to get in Blue's ass. Oh, thank you, Mama Well. Thank you, Miss Kay. Thank you for showing love. I'm going to subscribe to you back. So message is how for review. How to have more information. Keep on. I don't know why they're how. I don't have my things set like that. I ain't scared for no one to tell me anything. <laughs> I mean, everybody has their own opinion. You feel me? But, um, but yes, I was like, you know, Bonnie went on there and she said all this stuff. And I was like, man, finally, I got somebody listening to me. Well, I'm not saying you said you're repeating what I'm saying, but finally somebody feeling like I'm feeling because I've been seeing this and I thought I was just delusional. I thought I was a crazy bitch over here. Am I the only one seeing, you know, how ragged it and how messy this girl is and you know, am I the only one over here? Like, am I over dissecting this bitch? And like, like she's, she, you could tell she's never had shit. You could tell she's never had any friends, any family. She don't know what it's like to be cool with people. Like she's never had that opportunity, you know? And honestly, she was made, you know, she became relevant by being messy. I don't see no change in her, but somebody like her, you know, there's, she's going to run into her subscribers. She's going to run into somebody. That's a fan of one of the subscribers, whether the three moms, whoever. I don't, the three moms, they all got their personal issues, but so do I and everybody else do too. Just wait, we don't put it out there on the screen, you know? We all got, some of us got man problems, you know? I'm married, I've been with my, with my husband for 10 years, you know? I waited seven years before I had any kids with him and I still got issues with him, you know? I mean, we're, we're different people. Our personalities sometimes go like this, especially when we both think you're the boss, you know? It's like, damn, I don't understand why people act like, you know, life isn't life. You know, it, nothing, nothing is peaches and cream. And this bitch over here, like, bitch, you can't even show us your man. You can't even show us your man. I mean, don't we don't want to see his feet in the video. All you got to do is put the little blow up doll there and put the fucking shoes on there. And I'm like, that's your goddamn man. I'd be like laughing. <laughs> and she's so good at editing. I mean, even if she did show him out, <laughs> he could be somebody at the fucking thrift store she done met. Somebody should start walking across the street calling her goddamn man. And that's the only thing she's good at, you know, is, is editing. And she only good at editing because she makes so many fucking videos. I mean, well, for the work is not a job. Didn't she say she had a job? Accountability, yes. Chat months ago knows about her, but they have not. I wish they would. Mama 12, it's time to hit them back up. I got that green for that information. Please, 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 please. I will cash out them. You see, Regina? Yeah. And to try to talk about Mama 12 for having kids, 12 kids, like big families or blessed families. Where, when did that change? When did that change? Just because... 
you don't have a maid or just because you don't live in this big old town. And when and since when is it a bad thing to ask assistance from the government? You know how many people in other countries wish they could be an American to be in America? I mean, I've traveled around the world. I've been to the Philippines, I've been to Mexico, I visit parts of Africa, and you know, their government don't do a damn thing for those people, and they're dying every day. They can't even they can't even feed themselves or their kids, literally. There's there's babies that go days without eating. And our, don't don't be mad because our government loves us. I mean, there's there's room for, for for improvement in the system. I get it. But we we do not come from a third war. Motherfucker, if we're struggling or if we need help or if we need whatever, we, we're gonna get that. We deserve that. That's that's granted to us. That's what a lot of us pay taxes for. It's to take care of our own people. So for her to sit there, and I'm saying this because she knocks people on welfare. She knocks people on subsidized housing. She knocks people on food stamps. You knock people and try to talk about what their fucking house looks like. <laughs> I've been saying for a long time, the girl needs some medication. She even she has three or four streams of income. Look at her picture. Does it look like she has any income? She had two miscarriages. And one son died. Oh, oh. I hate to hear about when babies die. I mean, I have six kids myself, and I got two, 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 two. I have two baby daddies, father of my kids. I don't want to call them baby daddies, because you know, I, and I and I'm blessed. You know, I'm very, very grateful that I have two of my kids' father. They're both African American. They both take care of their kids financially, emotionally, and physically. They love their kids. They educate their kids on what it's like to be African American, um, especially my son. You know, my other son is just a baby baby right now. But I don't know. bashing for absolutely no reason. I never seen the purpose of that either, Mom of 12, but you got to remember that this bitch was never relevant and too jazzy got in that ass. And see, that's the thing. If I was jazzy, jazzy need to get um, a lawyer. All of these um, YouTubers, when you guys get grounded and you, you don't have to have all these YouTubers, but when you start making money, start investing in a lawyer. You know, find a cheap one if you need to. Whatever, uh, uh, find one that 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 knows because this bitch is only here because of Jazzy. So she should be. She, you know, I feel like Blama should be coming out the fucking pockets and throwing coins over here as as deserved because you made your whole platform based on Jazzy at first. You know, and if it wasn't for Jazzy clapping back and it wasn't for me putting, um, bringing her up in that fucking live, this, you would have been still been a nobody. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, my blah, my ease. I can say this, that when she first started, she only had two subscribers. Then she had three. And I saw, came across her channel and I subscribed her. And she was getting two likes for like the longest time. She was getting only two likes, maybe three, maybe three. And the only reason why I subscribed to her is because I saw somebody that was just starting their channel and I didn't know them. I didn't know them for, for shit, but I want to support them. I want to support them, you know, just support them. You know, I'm, I, I started my channel. I wasn't even going in on it. I was just, you know, whatever, whatever, just playing with it. And I seen that she was trying to do her little videos. I didn't watch her little videos, but I seen little videos popping up. So I was like, you know what? Well, let me go ahead and support her. And that's what I did. 
And then I seen that she kept on talking shit about Jazzy. And then she started talking shit about the other moms, but mostly it was Jazzy. Right. Talking about people's kids that get you bang, bang. I mean, I'm, I don't know if I can say that on YouTube, but, you know, literally, that's just what it is. Talking about people's kids could make a person go, you know, you can't talk about people's kids and get away with it. There's just some people that ain't going to do that. There's some people that's really going to hunt you down. There's some people that know people from other states that's going to send their cousin or their friend or their homie or their lover or whoever to come and get you. So, you know, she, she's playing with fire. She's going to, you know, let her do what she does. It's only going to be a matter of time before we see her in the fucking news or something. YouTuber got cussed. YouTuber got shot. YouTuber got jumped. YouTuber got ran over. <laughs> I'm talking that shit on YouTuber, on YouTube. I mean, we see it all the time. These gamers be on here talking mad shit to each other. My son's a gamer. You know, if you got kids or sons or whatever, you know, I know their education is first, but on their spare time, if they want to play game, gaming, let them invest. My son gets paid for gaming. And let me tell you, it's been about a year and a half now since he started doing it. And he just has so many great things happening for him over the gaming, um, over, you know, while he's been involved in the gaming world. And he's making really good money. So if your kids play, um, do gaming. I know as long as their grades are up or whatever, you know, it's, I, I say, let them do it. They, you know, help them out, let them save their money, can pay for their college, whatever. They are buying a home at a young age. Let me see. Let me go into someone's channel or email to start them getting dragged. Sad. Right. Exactly. If the mom, three moms stop vlogging, she has no content. I've been saying this. I mean, in, in all my videos, I've been saying this. What would you do? Okay, what the fuck did she do when Lynn came for that ass? When Lynn came and tapped that bitch's ass all over you to just going around slapping her all over the motherfucking channel. What did she do? What did she do? She put her head down and walked away back into her house. And she, we didn't see her for a little bit. And then she was like so scared to even poke her head out, but she was over here talking, making videos where we only could hear her because she was too scared to come out. You know, she'll, she'll talk from way back over here, you know, way back, way back over here. She was talking all that shit, but couldn't show herself on the screen. And then she was like, you know, should I stop doing reaction videos and all this sorry? And, you know, I didn't mean to say bitches. I didn't mean to, if people, if people took it that way, I didn't mean it that way. She had all these fucking stories, you know, see, that's what people do. That's what punk bitches do. That's what punk bitches do. They talk all this shit. And as soon as somebody comes from them, they have a million and one reasons why they didn't do it. Or are they? Or are they? Are we? We misinterpreted. Or it wasn't that way meant to be that way. Or why does everybody want to talk, beat up blah my? Why does everybody want to beat me up? I didn't say anything. Or you know, all of a sudden I have mental issues. Or I was drunk. Don't blame it on the alcohol. I know she did. I already knew that. If I said it on my video, I was like, "This bitch is. What are you gonna do now? Are you gonna go back in your fucking house? Are you gonna put your head down?" Are you going to put your head down and walk your ass right back in the house and she came out? That's why she didn't know what to do. So what did Miss, what did um, Blama do? She started emailing and sending these fucking videos, talking shit, because she knows Tommy don't like black women. And she was trying to use Tommy as a tool to help fight her fucking battle. And Tommy's dumb ass done, just fell for it. He just, he just got played. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like, you know, I'm at the point to where like, bitch, where, where are you? Where you at? You talk all this shit, bitch. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to run the fuck up or shut the fuck up? Which one is it? I think that's where a lot of people are at, at this point with her. A lot of people are. One lady. You too. One lady living in England said, blah, eats makes 500 to 1,000 a month in YouTube. Why blah makes the videos? 
I believe it. I believe it. And I don't know why she ain't, you know, what's sad is the bitch need to be reported. Just like she likes to report people and call people on, on people. The bitch need to be reported because I bet you she's on fucking welfare. I mean, her, her picture alone, while she sit here and talk all this shit, you can sit there, bitch, and talk all the shit you want. But when you look like that, when you look like that picture, we know you're everything. Everything, we know you're exactly everything that you're fucking saying you're not. We, I mean, common sense, we're not that stupid. Just because I'm Mexican and shit don't mean I'm that fucking stupid. And I'm sure none of you guys is that fucking stupid. So, yeah. And I believe Yanni would have matched her energy. Definitely. Definitely. She's scary, you guys. I mean, your fucking kid is supposed to beat her. I know my daughter will be dog shit out of her. And I, I wouldn't even want my daughter to be put in a situation like that. But I'm just saying. It's, it only goes, you know, a bitch with a big mouth ain't shit. A bitch that do all that woofing. A bitch that sit there and blah, 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 and mm, 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 mm. Oh, come. It'd be the first one that you just, you know, one hit or quitter type shit with them. And that's just the reality of it. You know, I've been across, I've been across so many females. You know, and they just sit there and they woof. And it's not just, you know, and it's not about color. Because I've been around the white girls that do that. I've been around the next few girls that do that. I've been around some Samoans that do that, you know. I've been around them all. And it, and it doesn't seem, it just seems, you know, it doesn't matter about the color. It's a person with a big fucking mouth ain't shit. And that's just what it is. And that's blah my eats right there. That bitch is going to get dragged one day and it's sad because she got kids and it's going to happen in front of her child and the most embarrassing about in front of her man probably if she has a fucking man somebody sent me a picture of her with the man and I gave him $50 I don't know if it was a real picture for man I don't want to put it out here and it's not a real picture it's not the right picture for man but I was giving $50 out cash out to anyone that had any information about this bitch. I mean, I just really wanted her first and last name, date of birth, where she lived. You don't even have to tell me where she lived. First and last name, you know, and if I could get that date of birth, that's cool. I'll run it through my uncle. <laughs> He's a retired police officer. Knows a lot of officers still in the force. <laughs> and just find out a little bit about her, bitch. You want to talk about people, bitch? Let's talk about you. She said, I made a lot of assumptions in my videos when asked. What assumptions were made? She couldn't, she couldn't or didn't respond. Because she didn't want it with you. She didn't want it with you. I'm surprised she didn't um try to come back with you. She seemed like a bitch that'll sit there and argue with a fucking pregnant girl and sit here and fight with a pregnant girl. She that type of bitch. You know why? Because she know goddamn well you really ain't gonna fight her because you fucking pregnant and you love your baby more. So, you know, it's kind of like a mind game. She be trying to, you know, she thinks she's smart. She thinks she's smart. She really does. The bitch don't even know how to act like her goddamn self. She'd be watching all these other hype videos around here. And the next thing you know, she want to come in here mm, thinking she's all popping, thinking she, you know, she, she's all the shit, like she popular or something like that. Bitch, sit the fuck down. Who are you acting like? Because that's not you. <laughs> I say it all the time around here in my house. Blah, my East is a clown. She'd be putting on a show. She be putting on a show and people be watching it. People be watching it. And if she do be making that five hundred um thousand dollars a month, I mean, I could see it. I could see it. But I think thirty percent of that should go to Jazzy because if it wasn't for her, the bitch wouldn't be where she's at today. And I told her last time, bitch, you should be thanking me that I even talked about you in her fucking live when I did. Because right after that live, your fucking followers just was going boom, 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 boom. Don't nobody want to follow a Mexican girl, though. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. I could go on and on about this girl. I do not like the person she appears to be. I do not like how she comes at, at other women or people, period. 
I don't know. I don't like how she tries to manipulate the women to fight with each other. I don't like how she sits there and, and manipulated Tommy. I, I'm telling you, she has something to do with that shit. She did. Because when she was on the cloud chasers, see, I, I, re I read the comments and something tells me I have that feeling she, in the comments of the cloud chasers. I, I'm not quite, I have to go look at what it was I was reading, but they were talking on, and they were talking on there and they were talking about people thought they were colorism or whatever it was going on. Now the cloud chasers, you know, I think they're, I think they're really funny. I fucked with their channel. I think they're, I think they're, you know, good ladies. I think that things um, got out of hand and it was misunderstood. I just think she's proud of who she is. Hey, hey. I just think that she's proud of who she is. My baby just walked in. Hi. 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 I miss you, Mama. Oh, I missed you too. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Let's go there. I don't like cussing around. I know I'm going to have a little three year and one year old walking around cussing with their hands going like this. <laughs> I think she's feeling the heat. She don't make no 5K a month. That's what she don't do. That's what she don't do. Because if she did, the bitch would get looking a little bit different. If she did, she would take that fucking 99 cent ponytail off. I mean, you know, my sister-in-law told me, my sister-in-law does hair. And she told me she got some leftover fucking hair piece that she had and just wrapped it up in her ponytail and then had the bang coming out like that. That's how she got her bangs. You know, broke bitches do shit like that. They get creative. When you ain't got no fucking money, you get really creative around here. <laughs> blah ma blah ma blah ma. If you're listening, if you're listening to this message, you raccoon Dustin looking bitch. Take that 500. That 500 would do you well. You probably gonna get you a sew in. Take that 500. Come to Cal Come to California. You ain't got shit to lose. You're not gonna. You you don't have to spend no money. Come out here to Cali. Whoever it is you want to fight, come on. I'll bring it. I'll pay for it. Bring it. Jazzy ain't scared. Jazzy is not scared. But Blama is scared. Because Blama won't even entertain my comments, my emails, nada. This bitch stay hiding from my shit. Because she's going she's gonna to try to you know, She don't want it. She don't want it. Bitches with big mouths ain't shit. They ain't shit. They're going to be the first one when you barely go like this. And they're going to just fall out. They're going to fall straight to the ground. I just feel bad when she gets when she gets caught off guard. I just feel bad when she gets caught off guard. Is a lady telling me said how much she makes? I don't know. Miss K said, just reading comments, is the lady channel name... On YouTube, she said, on YouTube, she said how much she makes. You know, Blama, what I've noticed about Blama is she actually sits there and tries to hold conversation and um with these YouTubers. I'm surprised, Bonnie, that she ain't hit you up in your D in your in your DM or IG or whatever. You know, my I have I just made up an uh what is it called? Instagram. I never had an Instagram before, but I named I made one up. Stephanie Smith from my Instagram, just because some people wanted to message me. So I told them to, so I made a whole Instagram up. It's a, it's a new one. I really don't know much about the Instagram world, but I'm, I'm getting there. You know, I'm really old fashioned when it comes to this type of stuff. <laughs> blah makes on K. I think Jazz and Scrap. I don't know about Blah. I don't think Blah can, and I'm not saying that because I'm not saying that. The only reason why I say this is because it's proven to know that somebody with a big ass mouth like her, a scary bitch like her, they'll be the first ones that get busted up. The first ones. The first ones. And that's just what it is. Everybody knows a bitch with a big mouth ain't shit. Period. Period. Blama. You ain't shit. You can't even fucking afford a goddamn. See, a bitch that got all kinds of fungus and that shit going all up in your mouth with your white fucking tongue, you need to invest in a fucking electric toothbrush. 
Okay, invest in electric too much. When you get your first check, which you already probably got them popping, because you did a whole what channel with some food. I'm like, oh, look at the bitch is starting to do little bigger things. You can see she added a couple little exercise in there, larger portions, getting name brand food now. Fucking bitch was doing doing um mukbangs in the bathroom with her food stamps. Her food stamp mud bangs in the bathroom, hollering, I ain't no food stamps. My husband works two jobs. I work, again, sitting there playing dress up, getting all dressed up before she go, went on live or before she did a video. Hello. Hi, honeys. Bigger problem, she's dressed up. Yeah, poor Jazzy does. You know what? Let me tell you, I to me, I mean, she's young. <laughs> you know, she really is. She's young. She got so many issues going on. I think she's a very hormonal um, person. You know, she has her kids that, that overwhelm her. They're all little right now. She just, she really needs to just learn how to um, schedule them kids. She needs to learn how to set time to herself where she's rested, where she's able to go to sleep on my certain time. So she's able to get up and take care of those kids and her mind is functioning better. I'll do a whole nother talk about um, Jazzy. I don't think Jazzy's a bad mom. I know she loves her kids. And when you love your kids, you'll do for your kids. You know, I know that there's mistakes, but who doesn't make mistakes? Maybe her, her problem is she makes a lot of mistakes and she does it in front of the screen. Uh, it's sad how people come for her. I don't think she's any different from a lot of majority of these um, young females out here that come from like urban communities from, I don't really know her upbringing, but you know, this is what happens and this is what happens to the kids when you end up being with somebody that's a fucking jailbird. You know, she, I think Jazzy honestly is doing a lot better than some, some women because you know, she, she, she invested in her YouTube channel. She started doing her YouTube channel. She's not just sitting on her ass all the time you know, which kind of is, but not really because YouTube is her job. You know, she's working, just working from home, you know? So we live in a society and an era and an era nowadays where three-year-olds, two-year-olds could be making money. You know, she took, she took that and ran with it, which is good because now she's able to be at home with her kids. Of course, she's not making all that much money because she's not able to do moves like other YouTubers, but in time, you know, in time it will. This is just, this is, this is the, this is, you know, this is a stepping stone. You're working your way up there, baby. Not as fast as you want to, but you're going to get there one day. Okay. So don't be so stressed on everything. Don't, don't be so stressed. Learn how to have patience, learn how to give yourself some time. You know, she, I mean, she's just maybe needs a, a, a couple classes, you know, I don't know if her mom's not teaching her. I don't know what the case may be with that, but life is hard. And when you're doing it all by yourself and you got a fucking jailbird, oh my God. Ladies, I know we like bad boys, okay? But we just like the bad boy look, not an actual bad boy, because then we'd be stuck. You'll end up stuck all by yourself, you know? And if you got kids, you know, it's not even good for the kids, but, you know, we all like a little bad boy. But remember, it's the bad boy look and not the actual bad boy. <laughs> Who did food stamp mukbang? Blama. Well, I don't know if she bought them on food stamps. I've been telling her for the longest time she was buying those fucking crabs on fucking uh, with food stamps that she better stop buying those crap on food stamps before I report her ass. My hardworking um, taxes is going to somebody over here doing mukbangs in the goddamn toilet on the toilet in the bathroom. You don't remember that? One of her, her one of her, one of her very maybe it was way in the beginning of her videos when she first started. Yes, a schedule routine is very important. I know that for sure. Yes. And finding time, making sure that you go to bed at a certain time. I know editing and all that. You need to find a time where you have like an hour or an hour and a half, two hours worth of work. You put the kids in daycare. I mean, that's a whole nother channel. We're going to talk about Jazzy right now. We're going to talk about this fucking camel toe looking bitch. I wonder what her man think about her. I mean, does she really got a man? We know she got babies. Does she really got um, more, just one baby daddy? I don't know. I don't think so. But I can tell you one thing. When you're paying for dick, because no real man, no man with good self-esteem, no man that got his own income, that got his own job, no man that could do for himself is going to love a bitch like that. 
No man that could do for himself is going to want a bitch like that. I mean, just that picture right there, they're in the past. <laughs> I just don't see it. I mean, you can call me stupid. You can say, oh, that fat bitch, who that fat Mexican girl talk about. But let me tell you something. I was raised by with, with men, okay? My brothers raised me. And I don't know any man that's going to look at that picture and think and, and they should get hard. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Any man with the right mind is gonna look at that picture and wonder why her tongue is so fucking white. They don't want her sucking on that shit. Yes, in the bathroom, I'm of 12. You didn't see the video? It's one is in the beginning when she first started doing videos. <laughs> In the beginning, in the beginning, she did it in the bathroom and then she got clamped. And I was like over here like, no, this bitch didn't go buy some crab on her food stamp. And then she was like, I don't have food stamps. We work. My man got not one job, but two jobs. It's like, girl, you sitting there putting dubs on it. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. We might have believed you if you said one, but now two. But he always seems to be, I always see you seem to be like you're talking with him in the background, bitch. You know, she probably talking herself. You know, she lives a lie. She lives. I mean, I wonder if she believes her lies. Does she believe herself? People sick in the head when they actually believe themselves. I don't know. Call me wrong, but I, I just don't know any man that would, would want a bitch like that. I mean, or, or a bitch. What bitch would want her like that with that tongue? <laughs> bitch, you know, you're not coming over here licking over here with your fucking tongue licking like that. Bitch, take a swab and go take an STD. Go to Plant Parenthood. Check on yourself. If you do have a man, he's been sitting there doing something with somebody. And when you come back behind him, sitting there, sitting there giving him some goddamn head, you must have caught an STD. I looked it up. What makes your tongue white? I was kind of, you know, I was like, that's the, that picture is kind of, you know, something's weird about that picture. I know who the fuck is going to edit their picture where their tongue looks white like that. Oh, I'm going to get off this bitch. I got to get in here and make this mole, you guys. I'm going to cook. We always try to have, you know, dinner by a certain time. I'm already pushing it. It's 427 out here. But mom, and, mom, mom of 12, Regina, Bonnie Bonnie, thank you for rocking with me. I it's, it's really appreciate it. Miss K, welcome to my channel. Um, Bonnie Bonnie. Congratulations on your baby. When is your baby due? I wonder, did you put up um are you accepting gifts for your baby? Sure, she gives stamps. Of course she does. Her picture screams food stamps. Her script, her picture says low income. I look low, low income right now. <laughs> I haven't got my hair done. <laughs> I don't have makeup on. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But <laughs> no, her picture scream low income. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, that picture. And then you have the nerve to put it on fucking YouTube. Okay, you guys. I don't know if my message is coming in slow, but. I want to see if Bonnie, Bonnie, are you accepting gifts for your baby? Did you do a baby registry yet? I love babies. I love them when they're all little too. Yeah, get off her crazy ass. Yeah, I gotta go cook, gotta go cook. Okay, ladies, once again, thank you for rocking with me. I appreciate it. Nobody ever wants to listen to the Mexican girl. So I was so glad when Bonnie Bonnie came out and said that what, um, what her live was. So go out and check out her live yesterday. All of it is so true. I'm due March. Okay, here, do a day before my son. I can't believe I'm going to sit there and say that. But yeah, my son turns. He turns. <laughs> I got my son over here, mommy. Shh. <laughs> he don't believe in putting any personal information out here on this, on the YouTube. You know, he does his own thing as well. And my daughter does too. Maybe one day when, you know, my channel grows and I get comfortable, 
but some of the people, some of my subscribers, so much hate right now. I'm afraid to put any personal information. Okay, yes, my Amazon registry is in my description. Okay, well, definitely look on there. I love babies. Babies are a blessing. Never be embarrassed to have kids. Never be embarrassed to have family. If you are, if they are blessed and giving them to you, you those babies are a blessing. You love, you nurture them, you educate them, and you bring them to the Lord. Not to get all holy moly around here, but um, I love babies. Section on my videos. Video. Bye. Did you hear that, Bonnie? Mama 12 wants to know when you're going live again. Did you hop off already? I like Bonnie. I like her attitude. I could totally see me hanging with her one day. <laughs> How many kids do you have? Is this your first child? Okay, I think she might have left already. Oh no, I'm probably going live after my seven days of <laughs> I know. I was like, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> we should do it. We should do it for Vani. We're gonna do it for Vani. Are you gonna do it for Vani? We're gonna do it for Vani. And not Stephanie. I wish I could, but I can't. This girl talks so much fucking shit. I mean, she gets no breaks. She ain't giving none. <laughs> okay, you guys, once again, bye. If you go by live, let me know. I'm sure I have it. I usually, if you subscribe to me, I subscribe to you. And that's what it is about supporting each other. Um, so if if you go live or if you go on whenever, bye, Brianna. There you are, Stephanie. We signing up for the we're signing off for the night. Yes, bye, Brianna. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Bye, bye, ladies.